the thing with the humanoid robot and the thing that everyone's got really excited about with the humanoid robot is well, it can do loads of tasks. Yeah. And it can, in theory, do loads of tasks. When you look at what they're being used for, so if you look at Tesla's work with humanoid robots, it, that's really interesting because they've probably gone down a route, well, they've gone down the same route that they've gone down as they've gone down with their uh, driverless cars, which is if we have enough training data, we can train it really well to do certain tasks under lots of different environmental conditions. So that's what they're doing with the driving data. That's why you sign over all your driving data to Tesla when you buy a Tesla and they will then use it. They'll plug it into a big AI model and it will come up and go, this is how you drive. They're doing the same thing with their humanoid robots. They're, they've employed a lot of people to basically wear motion capture suits and do jobs, holding t-shirts, getting picking and placing objects um, and various other things like that. And the aim of that is to basically program their robot mm. to be able to do those tasks. And it will be able to do those tasks really well, but only those tasks. So we're moving now from something like an autonomous vacuum cleaner that can do one task to an autonomous humanoid that can do multiple tasks, but not loads. Mm. 